It's a sad moment, but also a moment to celebrate a life. That's the late Tina Turner. I don't know if you knew Tina Turner, but I have a lot to share about her, like things that impacted me or things I had to learn, and I think you're going to learn too. By the way, did you know that after divorcing her husband, she had to clean homes to pay her rent? Did you also know that when she left her husband, she took his children, <laughs> his children too, because he knew, uh, she knew she had to protect them? Did you know that when she divorced her husband, all she wanted was her, the name? That's all she took? Did you know all these facts about, about her? But I have her book right here, Tina Turner, My Love Story. So when you, I read this book, I said, my goodness, she was a strong woman. So I'm just picking out a few points that I'm going to, not from the book, but from just seeing her story, what I get out and what is, could impact all of, all of you. Because it doesn't matter what age you are, what religion you are, you are what race you are, which country you are in, there is something to learn from this lady, her story, okay? So I want to take out a few points and mention them here in this slide. If you're seeing me for the first time, I'm Sherifa Nakalema in Virginia, USA. And recently I had a mini accident on my face. You may not see it, but it's there. So uh, the last time I was here, I said we we're going to start going live every single day. It didn't happen. I had the accident in the morning that day. I said last Friday, and then it happened Saturday morning. So this face was swollen. It's getting a little bit better, so I'm able to do this again. And when I'm here, I talk about making money online, starting a business, taking our life to the next level. That's what I talk about. So please, if you're seeing me for the first time, consider subscribing to this channel and come learn with us. But when I come live, normally, I, like in these kinds, on Friday night, Friday night my time. This is normally around 10, after 10.30 p.m. USA Eastern Time, which would be different for other countries. I talk about anything that I choose. Like today we are talking about Tina Turner. Uh, the lady she just died, uh, died that's two days ago, right? At the age 83, there's a lot to learn from her story. So I said, let me go. Although my face is not okay yet, I have to talk about this. So that's what we are doing. Like I just said, her story is amazing. Because of where she came from and what happened to her and starting over at age, was it? But I don't quote me on facts. I have her book here. But when I get them from my head, I could get some facts wrong. But you can't search her story. It's everywhere. But the book is here, and I read it. I didn't read it today, but I, I read it. My daughter gave it to me one of my days. Was it a mother's day or a birthday? So I have it. It's called Tina Turner, My Love Story. I'm not promoting books. I just wanted to show you that I know about this lady. Okay? So I don't know how, like, I didn't meet her, but I know the story. I first got to know about a long time ago, actually 1984, what got love got to do with it, for some of you who are older, it came on, I think 1984, when I was in S5, if you got from Ghana, I was about S5, which was a big hit at that time, so since then, but then I got to know more about her on Oprah, the Oprah show, that's when she would come and they would do things and say, wow, so I followed, and because I talked about, a lot, about her a lot, that's why my daughter gave me this book, and then I got to read and understand how she lived her life. Okay. Ha, who is here in the chat? What do you know about this lady? Uh, sorry about the accident. Yeah, 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 the accident happened. You know, I checked myself again to see how I announced the daily thing. I said, did I say, inshallah, for those of you Muslims? Yes, I said it in English. I said, God willing, I'll be here. In fact, I joked. I said, if I'm not dead, we'll be here tomorrow. We're not dead the following day. It didn't happen. Okay, so what do you know about Tina Turner? Welcome, welcome. Let me see who is here. Please, if you are watching, type in the chat so I can know who you are. Uh, if you are watching it later, this was a live. I have some people in the chat. Robert, welcome. Is that Robert? Is that your Robert? You don't have two Roberts. Is that a real Robert or we have Eric? Uh, I think that's Robert. Okay, Janet. Oh, Massa. <laughs> Miss Massa, I should be sleeping. You are not sleeping? Yeah, 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 show the singer. Fazia. Ideas, good morning. Who is this, Fazia? Unique idea. That's a new one. Welcome, welcome. So, the lessons from this lady, especially if you're a lady, but even if you're a man, it's amazing. 
I'm going to say a few things that make some notes here. Number one, if you know about her story, she came from poverty. And she came from real poverty, but she knew her talent that she needed to sing. When she tells her story, she tells it in a funny way. The things she used to think and to sing and the, like a long time ago, and she didn't get any like guidance, like guidance like in, in a stable home and being guided in mom and dad. No, it didn't happen for her. That's why we learn a lot from what she was able to do by herself. So then you know about the story maybe about her, her ex-husband now he's dead too but the story starts from around was it 18 because of her singing he discovered her and they started singing and she became a star and all that they were working together but what happened you know there's a movie the movie also helped me to know her more even before i got this book I saw the movie first. I have a copy of it. I don't have it here. It's on VHS. I even bought the copy. VHS. You know the VHS? <laughs> Those of you young people, I mean, it's not VHS. It's a, it, I have the video. That story, what she endured. What she endured, I think two things that were happening in that three, maybe. Because she was singing, she was making a lot of money, but she never got the money. The man took the money. And the man was a womanizer, having women everywhere and she was here. And, and he married her. He married her, I think. He had a deal. When she tells the, when she tells the story, she thinks, uh, she thinks it's the marriage of convenience or somehow. Like maybe when I marry her, then she can't go anywhere anymore, right? But he continued to have women, take all the money, abuse. When you see the movie, oh my God, what she endured was too much. And you know what's funny? Janet, this is for you. Well, one time when she, she tried to run away, but one time she tried to run away and she went to a bus, right? Bus station tried to go. She went on a bus. And guess what? Who, who told where she was? Her mother. Her mother is the one who alerted the man where she was going. And the mother, <laughs> by the time she arrived, the man was there to, to grab her and took her back. Oh my God. You know the weird thing? Why would the mother tell? The mother <laughs> is the one who reported where she was. So that time she didn't survive. But the very last time, by the way, I'm going to the point. The very last time when she finally said it's over, do you know they were headed to, 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 to uh, they had some kind of performance to do. And I think they were in a limo. You remember I said, don't quote me about the facts coming from my head, but just know that they were in a vehicle going. And then they, were, they fought the way they normally fight. And this time, when she ran away, she said, enough is enough. She ended up in a hotel with no money. The story is there. They were in the hotel with no money. And she had a sense, sense. She caught the sense she had. But when she goes to this manager in the hotel, she just said, I'm so and so. Because she was known at that time. Tina Turner, she was known. Did you know that's not her name? Had you, her, or her, that wasn't her name when she was born. She was born an Anna Marie. Is that Balok? Is that how they say it? But then the husband, the husband, the one who gave her this name, the Tina Turner name, like the stage name was because she was singing, and then turned out to be a good name. So when she went to the hotel, she told the manager, um, um, she, her face was all bruised, bleeding from the fight. Can you imagine fighting when you're about to go on stage, like they were about to go perform somewhere and they were fighting and she was, she was hitting her. So she ended up with a bruised face. Now she ended up in this hotel asking for a room with no money. So she said, this is my name. And I think the, the manager knew her name. And she said, maybe I, I could give you my ring. Uh, I don't have any money. I only have these cents. I think 36 cents, some cents that she had. And she said, but if you give me a room, I promise I'll pay you back. So they gave her the room. But her story, but she never went back. That's the ending of the whole thing. Can you imagine living? with nothing like going with nothing that's how that's how it ended and uh, that's how she ended up like cleaning the homes remember i told you she cleaned homes to pay rent and she took the kids uh, including kids that were not her own but i think she knew that the, you can't leave these kids with this man and in there she told the story of cleaning and what was that was going on and the man was still hunting her around she had to buy a gun. She got a gun. I don't know if YouTube allows me to talk about guns, but she had to get a gun. And then later, she's trying. Remember, I learned a lot from this story because she was, I think, 37, 38 when this was happening. 
And she had been a star all this time because she had a thing around 18 when they were doing all this. So she was well known in, in USA. But she's leaving all that to start over. Remember, I tell my story about uh, my husband having an accident and all that. You know, when I decided to end up cleaning, I had seen this story on, on Oprah um, because I knew about her story. I had even watched it on, on the video. I said, if she started over at that age, if she was able to do that, what she did, I think I can do it too. So when I started doing the cleaning and stuff, I knew things could get better. That's a lesson for you. I'm about to get to the lesson. When I start the lesson, I'll go. Let me briefly tell the story. Because the, <laughs> uh, when I got to the lesson, I'm going to pick one, 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 one. So she had to buy a gun to protect herself because this man was still harassing her. And then <laughs> she told the story one time. <laughs> she had learned about this for the Buddhist, right? She learned about the chanting. You know, the chanting. And the chanting helped her. Because this chanting is like the I am affirmation that I think we talk about these days. The chanting helped her, but one time she was going to the ch where she used to go for chanting. The chanting would cool her down and help her think and all that. She had her gun, and then the police officer stopped her. She was telling how she didn't know that the gun was showing. <laughs> so when the police officer stopped her, like asking her where she was going and all that, <laughs> then later she realized the gun was like. <laughs> it's fun. You have to read the book to read these stories. I'm just like ranting out her story. Just know that later she wanted to go sing again. But because of what had happened in the news and her story and getting divorced and all that, no one wanted to sign her up because she thought it was a lot of uh, baggage, they say, baggage. So anyway, a long story short, she was able to start over. Now, what are the lessons? I have a paper here. Um, put some notes from my head from, from the poverty that she started with, for that's a lesson, not having someone to guide her when she was young. But she had this sense of style, like you know, how you see they talk about her style. The, the, the recently I was, just yesterday I was watching how she was telling her story that she created her own wigs. She started doing this as a young girl. She would put things together, her own style. Like she could get style when she was young because she didn't have much, but she would figure out a way to dress nice, but she would do things herself. That's creativity. Uh, then another point is, I think she used to go to church, learning to sing in a church. That helped her also. Those are lessons, I'm dropping lessons. Then uh, knowing what you learn, knowing your talent. Because she knew, she knew that she was different. She knew that she could sing at a young age. Okay, that helped. Another lesson we learn from the abuse. This abuse thing is huge. Because there are so many people right now, even as I'm speaking, who are in relationships that are abusive, right? But you are a woman maybe, but there are men too. Do you know women abuse men? But let's focus on the woman because this was a man or woman. But you are being abused, but you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. The other thing, I have to thank Oprah. for Because from Oprah's show, I learned a lot. The things I share right here, I learned many of them from Oprah. Oprah brought this story, Tina Turner's story. Oprah one time brought a lady who was talking about how to escape. If you are in an abusive relationship, you don't tell the man or woman, but I'm going to focus on the woman, on the, on the, on the woman, or woman, don't tell the man that you are leaving. You cannot tell the man that you are leaving because it's dangerous. That's how women get killed. So you can't warn him, oh, I'll leave you, I'm leaving tomorrow, I'm parking. No. You have to figure out a way to live silently. The other thing I learned from Oprah. The other thing I learned from Oprah, now I'm on Oprah a little bit. He brought on, uh, she brought on, you know English is a second language, so I'm, I'm using English, but it's not my first language, so I'm learning. I get those wrong sometimes, he, she. Oprah brought on to us, Dr. Phil. It's from Dr. Phil that I learned the effect of childhood on adults. Whatever happened to you as a child is going to affect you forever. So, if you're a parent right now and you have young children, just know whatever you're doing around them, whatever you're doing to them is going to affect them forever. So those are things I learned. I just learned about Oprah. Oprah is still alive. Thank you, Oprah, for all the things you did. There's a lot we learned on those shows. So, 
more points about Tina Turner. Uh, the, that thing of, of leaving. Do you know what happened when she decided that she was going? The man never believed that she, was, she really left because he depended on her, her singing. She was a star in their band, whatever they were doing. So he thought, ah, she will come back. Realized she's not coming. Now she filed for divorce, and guess what? When they went to court, he was figuring out, figuring out how to stop her from getting the money, like hiring lawyers and all that stuff. But when she went to court, he said, actually, I don't care about all that. She told the judge, all I want is a name. Because remember, her name used to be different, and she got this name, Tina Turner, but now people knew about the Tina Turner. So that's a lesson for us who do business. She had the business sense to know that's going to be hard to start over with a new name. So she, all she asked the judge is, remember the husband, the Turner name is the husband's name, the last name. Uh, all I want is the name. Now they ask her, are you sure? He said, yeah, I don't care about the money. All I want is the name. And then after the name, man realized that she didn't want the money, that she wanted the name. Then he wanted to fight to get the name too, to, to, to refuse her to get the name. But the judge gave it to her. So she got the name only out of all the hard work. Can you imagine? From the time, all these years she's been working, that's all she got. The man took all the money. Uh, she didn't want to fight over that. That's a huge lesson because she knew that this name is going to help her start over. Okay? It didn't happen so quickly, by the way. It took her some time to start over. Okay. Uh, then I have another message on uh, takeaway, which I mentioned already, the cleaning of homes. She had to figure out how to survive. So there are so many people who think, oh, me, I have a degree. I don't do those kind of jobs, especially where I come from, originally from Africa, Uganda. I, who, who, how do they see me doing that? How do I clean? I was cleaning here in America. I had my degrees. I went to school. You put that aside. You do what you have to do to pay your bills. Okay? Or you're going to end up homeless. So you do what you have to do, especially in this economy. You do what you have to do. You wait for those jobs. The jobs are not coming. So figure out the job situation later. The other message in that, figure out how to create your own thing. It's employ yourself, okay? But the employ yourself is not going to be very clean. There's something, something there that you have to do that's nothing to do with your profession. So put the profession aside for now. Go with the situation because that's life. Then you can figure out things later, like we are learning from Tina Turner. Okay, another lesson was uh, having to carry the gun. Remember I talked about that? You need to remember that this was a long time ago. It's not like now. There's no social media. There's no all that. And this is a woman trying to protect herself. It's, it's like she was very, very strong. She was very strong to the end. Uh, the other one is the chanting. Because she, the chanting is what helped her got her balance back. You know when you are in those kind of situations, when you are struggling, when you are being abused, you lose yourself. You become like something else. You are not yourself anymore. You could even think, what happened to me? Where's the real me? So she got her real Tina Turner back through the chanting. She, was, she said she would spend like, I got that from the book. She tells her own story. She would go for two hours just chanting. Now, 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 now. Uh, there is a noise that something she was doing, and when she does it, the other day I was looking at reading, I think it was 60 minutes. The guy went to visit her and she showed her where she does it even now. She was doing it <laughs> for him. She would go in this deep voice and chant, but that chanting helped her connect. I think that's why she changed her religion and became a Buddhist because that's why she learned all that. So, what we learned from that is connected to what we teach now, the, the I am affirmations. I am affirmations help you connect to whatever, to stabilize. And some people, they do meditation and all that. So it helped her a lot. That's when things started happening for her. After she started the chanting, that's when opportunities started coming. Okay? So if you read the story, by the way, you can go buy the book. It's called Tina Turner, we, My Love Story. I'm not promoting it. I, I mean, I don't connect. I don't have a link or anything. But you can find it. She tells her own story that there is a lot to learn. Another one she talks about, uh, I'll talk about, is, uh, let me see. Of course, I want to stay on that before I get into the business part. 
Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'll get into the the, the, the business part next. Let me first finish this. That you know, before she, before that I forget this. When she came back, her story. But then she left. She wasn't an American anymore. Do you know that? <laughs> she came back being an American. But when she visited America, she went. Oprah interviewed her and I watched it. And Oprah asked her this question. This I'm quoting because I watched it again and I wrote it down here. Uh, he said, "He said, what is the legacy of Tina Turner?" So he, Oprah asked her, and she said, "This is after she got married. You know, she got married uh, in later years." She, the man proposed to her, she refused later, she got remarried. But then, finally, she got married, like later. That's her story. And later, yes. So, Tina Turner responded, okay, the question was, what is the legacy of Tina Turner? Oprah asked. And Tina responded, Tina Turner was a person that strived, these are her words, that strived for wanting it better and got it. A person that strived for wanting it better and got it. Now I'm getting to the business lessons because when she was being interviewed, if you watch her a long, a long time ago, the way she used to dress, like putting things together, she didn't have much. Then one time they were interviewing her, and she said, All I want. She was small at this time. We are talking about visualization now. Remember when we talk about big, dream big, visualization, all that stuff, her dream was this. She said, I want to dress better. I want to have these nice costumes, dress better, and also I want to fill stadiums. In fact, I was watching her yesterday again. When she said to her manager, I want to fill stadiums, he looked at her and said, what? You, you really mean that? Like it was unimaginable that she would fill stadiums. But you know what she did? She filled them and filled them and filled them. So that was the dream she had. We learned to dream big. That's my problem. Dream big and have a vision of what you want. In fact, they said make it very, very clear. Write it down. Write it down. Maybe those days she didn't write it down. Write it down. I don't know what she did to, to achieve it, but she did. She achieved it and more. Because when she was saying these things that she dreamed to have stadiums full and dream to dress better, she didn't, she didn't have them, but she got them, right? Of course, it involves hard work, but she did it. So write down what your dream is, and very clearly. Like she described it, she said, I want to dress nice the way people dress, the people who perform, the way they dress, and also I want to fill stadiums so that it's big and full waiting for Tina Turner. It happened for her. You can watch it on, on videos everywhere. Okay. Then, what I learned about her, you know, at one point, Oprah went, she invi Tina Turner, oh, uh, invited Oprah to go sing with her, right, on stage. <laughs> so she was actually playing it, like, the other day. And Oprah went and came back and told the experience of what she saw over there. Be uh, the lady was a professional. Because I think Oprah was telling that, you see, when singers sing and they sing on stage, even the way she leaves the stage, you, you could see that she, when she's switching, she doesn't say, okay, this song is over, we're starting another one. No, everything just flows. She would like dance, dance, dance to this side like this, and then another one who's going to sing uh, to, to represent her during the break. It's like a sort of a break, but you don't know it's a break when you are there. So another one sings from this side and comes and takes over and keeps them busy, busy, busy. Guess what? She's changing in the back. So Oprah was telling about the shoes that even the shoes are all lined up. Like this one will come first, next, next, <laughs> next. <laughs> the, the, everything lined up. So when she runs off stage and goes in the back, she changes really quickly. The next shoes are known where they're going and the next uh, outfit. And quickly she comes back. Like when she does a show, when she did a show, she doesn't break, it doesn't stop. She, go, like, she brings in something to take over the, like as she's going to do the changing. But the professionalism, like, you wonder where did she learn all this stuff? Because she was just a simple girl. How did she learn to do all these things? You wonder. The other thing we learned from her uh, was that message of keeping her name. That is branding. 
Because some of you who come into my world when I'm telling you, so go on your TikTok, change the name. When on YouTube, change the name. It's branding. Because, so for example, you know me as Sherifa Nakalema. You want to find me as Sherifa Nakalema everywhere. You don't want me to be a different name here, a different name there, a different. So she knew that when you are, you are doing business, you want a standard name that people know you by. So that's why she fought to have that name. I don't know if someone gave her some advice or what. So we learn from that. Uh, another point is, uh, she, oh, let me see. The professionalism, I had it here some, somewhere, somewhere, just a, a second. By the way, she put out a statement. Uh, there was something she posted before she died sometime. And it, it was to do with health. That she didn't know the effect of blood pressure. I think she had some uh, kidney issues. The effect of high blood pressure. You know high blood pressure? I have some high blood pressure. Uh, like it affects me, but I have medication that stabilizes it. In fact, I'm glad to say, since I left taking salt and sugar, it's normal. It's been normal throughout. My last one was 110 over, I think, 80. So she left, she talked about the the bad things about pressure, high blood pressure. So please check your pressure. Don't wait until you went to a doctor. Like here, if, especially if you live in a country it's like USA or anywhere, or if there's a nurse already somewhere, right? They can take your pressure. Please just walk over there and say, please check my pressure because it affects the whole body. The way the pressure, the, the blood pressure you have, if the numbers are out of line, especially if you are younger, then you can change. The good thing about high blood pressure is to do with health. The way you deal, what you eat, exercise, being like overweight, stuff like that. So you can start working on that if you want to be healthy. We are learning from Tina Turner, right? She talked about high blood pressure. I think she had it at some point later, and then it affected uh, her whole body. So that's a lesson for you. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was she had the business sense. Can you imagine, like, I think some of the last two as she did, I was watching, I think it was in the UK, the stage. You see how many people she employed. Hmm? You know, I feel emotional a little bit. How many people she employed? You know me? That's my big issue. How do you get big like that? Employing all these people, these professionals, and you are just a woman who didn't even go, go to higher education. How was she able to put all that together? Can you someone tell me? What are you putting in your... <laughs> Master, are you sleeping now? Yes, yeah, sister, I'm feeling better. You, you wonder, how does that come together? That means, remember when I talk about you have to learn from someone... Yeah, I think you have to learn from someone. Maybe someone, I don't know about that part, how she put it together. The team she put together and all professionals. And you look at the whole stage and wonder how does all this happen? Because all those people get paid. All those people, like, it was amazing. I, I'm just amazed by her life and how she put everything together. And also her age. You saw, she died at 83. But at 81, I think at 81, that's when she received an award. They gave her an award, and she made a comment that if you are still giving me awards at 81, I think I must have done something good. Yes, she, that's the last time they said she appeared on camera like that. 81. And you know the other thing I appreciate about her life is that at least she went to the end of her life when she's, her brain was good. I'm always worried about my brain because my mother's brain is like, she can't understand things as much anymore. So I'm always worried. I say, oh my God, she was lucky. She went to the end, understanding everything, speaking everything. In fact, uh, girl, was it girl? Uh, that's, of, of, you know, Oprah's friend, girl, went to visit her and she was showing how dancing moves. At this age, she, she's still fine. She was still able to walk and all that. At 81, I think, kudos. And they talked about, in the news, they talked about how she was able to distribute her stuff, uh, like everything. Not She didn't want her family to, to argue about her finances. She took care of all that. There is a lot to learn from it. 
Now let me go to the chat. You in the chat, tell me all those things that just rumbled out. What did you learn from it? What did you get out? Let me see. Janet, what did you get? The mother reported her when she was trying to run away. <laughs> and the mother told the man that she's on the bus. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. She was creative. She used her talent, affirmations, having big dreams, branding your name. She was a strong woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got all that. There's a lot we could talk about. A lot. I'm telling you. And even the sense, you know this man, she later married? That man wanted to, by the way, the young man, I think 16 years younger, the man fell in love with Tina, and Tina noticed it too, but it didn't, it didn't, like, take her away from what she was doing. So she didn't, mm -mm, she didn't respond to it. She knew she was attracted to him, but she didn't know. The man even proposed, mm -mm. She was focused on putting things in order first. She later married, <laughs> married him, but not at that time. Because another woman would say, ah, I have some money here. Okay, well, the man wants to marry me. Let, let me do it. But no, it didn't, she didn't do it at that time. But she do it, did it later, by the way. It was very loud. Uh, yeah, she believed in herself. And also, you have to know that that time is not like this time we see now. Here I could go on social media and get uh, tell people what you are doing. It wasn't like that. It was not like that. If you read this story, you say, what? How did she? Oh, you know what I wonder? How was she able to remember all these things? She, she was telling the stories. I said, what? Like from the very beginning, like whatever happened to her is in this book. Okay, what else did you learn from that? From her? What's your takeaway? What's your take? I had more stuff to do, but you see, I don't like to be here too long. How long have we done this? Let me see. Uh, about 30 minutes, 35. I don't want it to be too long. Let me see what you take away. Please, those of you who watch this later, put comments. What do you take away? I don't think it's just for women only. Men too. Because when you talk about abuse, men get abused too. There are women who hit, hit them, their, their husband, their men. It's, it's fun actually. It's not even funny. But I mean, because here in America, what makes it sort of funny, but it's not, a man cannot touch a woman. So once women know that that's their law, then they abuse their men. You hit, hit, hit them, and they can't hit you back. Because if they do, they're going to prison. You see? So that's sad, actually, that it happened. So let me see. Who else is learning something? Where is, I uh, want to hear from Mariam. Where is Mariam? Mariam. What are you learning from this lady? If you know, like she took herself from, yeah, 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 yeah. She found her true love. She actually, that love was there. The man was around, <laughs> was always around, but she just refused to marry him and all that. But uh, until later, you know, some sometimes when you are rich like that, she became very, very rich. You don't even know where the man wants your money. But the man was interviewed too, by the way, and he said that actually. For me, I didn't love the Tina Turner you see on stage. I love the Tina Turner, the person. And he was a very kind man. You know, later he gave, uh, he gave her a kidney. Uh, a, a, a kidney. The story is very, that's why she even changed her citizenship. She, she left America. So in the end, it worked and they had a very nice wedding. It's, it's a good life. Okay. So anyone putting in a comment? Uh, I see some people who are still here. What, what is your takeaway? Essence, Mariam, what's your takeaway? I saw this Fazia. I didn't know about Fazia. Who is Fazia? That's a new person. Welcome, welcome. Please put a comment. I'm about to shut to close this. If I talked about her story, it would be a lot. It would be a lot. Just know, I think she was naturally a smart woman because uh, the thing, the decision she was making, she was strong, but she was smart and had the business sense and she knew what she wanted. Uh, later, yeah, so are we closing this or you have something to say? I, I don't want to go on and on and on, it will become too long for the people who come in the future. Okay, Miss Massa, I think you, ha you have to sleep, it's almost midnight. Your time, uh, anyone I see people watching, we are talking about Tina Turner. Do you want me to go over those of you who are just joining? I could go over quickly about the things I just covered, right. I said, 
Now, at the beginning, I said, did you know that she had to clean? After all this happened and she divorced her husband, she had to clean homes to pay her rent. Did you know that she, when she ran off and divorced the man, she took the children, <laughs> his children too? You know, she had, uh, uh, she, she took his children. You would say, you could say, maybe let me run off with just my child and leave the other one, but she took all of them. And, and she didn't have anything. Did you also know that when she, she divorced him, she only asked for a name. She didn't ask for money or anything, just a name. The, the business sense to know that the name is more important. Oh, you are still here, Master. Yes, 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 yes. And the smile, I didn't even mention this. Do you know that whenever she's speaking, she ends with that laugh? It's like when you're around, when she was, you hear her speak, you come off like strong yourself and the beauty and all that. You know, they talked about her plastic surgery. She was enter, explaining that through the, the husband abusing her, she broke, he broke her nose. So they had to fix the nose. That's how she ended up looking a little bit different. Uh, they had to fix the nose. Yeah, 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 yeah. We learn a lot. So what are we going to do? What is our takeaway? What do we do? For me, I think I have to start dreaming bigger. You know, I keep talking about it. I need to do it. Because it's hard to do it alone. You cannot do it alone. Don't lie to yourself. You know, I can't stop speaking without talking about this book. Because, in fact, this book and this book. Because Robert says, the only way you're going to, be, to create something big, you use other people's time and other people's money. So in her sense, it had to, someone had to put money into her. So how are you going to do things big when you don't have the money? You see what I mean? Uh, so we have to learn something about that. But also let's start by writing it down. Then we're going to, by the way, I'm back. Did you notice my face or you didn't? There's something I just did to it to make sure I don't see the bruises. All this side is red, this side here. It's red, okay. The, the, the scars, the black stuff are off, but it's red side, this, this whole side here. So if you can't notice, but it, it is. So last time I wanted, let's follow, let's do something from this story. Let's create our stories too. The other thing I didn't mention, the way you live your life, you may not know that you're impacting people. You think Tina Turner knew that she was impacting me? She didn't know. So the way you live your life, and that's why I encourage people to start YouTube channels. Because you could come on YouTube here and tell your story and impact other people. Someone comes and watches your video and they go do a, do, do something different. Now, like, uh, I'd still ask Janet, Janet, we need your channel to show Muslim women that can exercise too. Um, here I have many Muslim friends, they don't do it. They don't go for walks, they don't go for exercise. Many of them don't. So come and show us. You never know. Maybe someone is going to, to see, to watch you, and then start doing something, right? Let me see. Yes, yeah, she was a strong woman. Okay, it's a Mariam. Thank you for saying she was a strong woman. I expect more than that from Mariam. I expect you to say something. What is there that I said today that you take away? What did she really do? Okay, she was a strong woman. But what did she do that you, you see that, oh, that was strong? The taking of death the name in the courtroom was weird. Even they asked her, are you sure? He said, yeah, I'm sure. You don't have any money, but you're, only, you're asking for just a name. Okay, uh, smart, strong. Let me see. Yeah, it's a good story, Robert. Thank you. She believed in herself. And in the later years, whenever they asked her, she said, uh, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. She was ready to go because she had done it. She had done all of it. Um, before she got married again, she, had to, she told how she had to put all her stuff together. You know, she, she was buying homes here, buying homes there, doing things there. So she had to put everything in order. And then she got married. And now, uh, and that money was also very interesting. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, all the way to the end. All the way to the end with an older woman. Because others may not understand it. They said, really? You're stuck with this old woman? Yes. He, he chose that. Okay, so anyone who wants to say something, I wanted to say going forward, we are back. Hopefully, I'm not having more accidents. Let's start those YouTube channels. Uh, Massa, I think you can impact a life. Janet, you can impact a life. Uh, John, I don't know if, uh, who, Mariam, do you want a YouTube channel too? Anyone who wants, you watch this and you, you want to start a YouTube channel, that's, you know, 
She didn't do a YouTube channel. She went big everywhere. So that's how we got to know her. But do you know people can know you from just your YouTube channel? YouTube channel, come and tell your stories, share whatever you have to share. We'll get the chance now for her. She didn't have uh, social media there, but we do. So let's use this chance to tell our stories too, okay? Janet, you start recording. So let's start. What do you think? Should we start what I was promising to start last week? Daily. We come here daily because I wanted to do success habits. Like one habit every day. One habit every day. So you start putting it in action. Then tomorrow we add on another one like that. I want to do that for like the next seven or five days. What do you think? Should we do seven days or five days? If some habits are short, I could do, I'll combine two. What do you think? Let me hear the, the, those who are watching. Should we do five days of success habits or six days? I think let's do or seven. Let's do seven. If we start tomorrow, we do one, one, one. Then we can do the finale like next Friday, right? The, the, very, uh, the ending. And the intention is this. We start doing these habits. Forget about just hearing me say. I'm saying go practice this one. You go do it, do it. Then tomorrow we add on another one, and we add on another one, and then they become your success habits. And we want to build a life too, right? A, a life that our children and grandchildren will look at and say, yeah, they did it. Okay. I'm waiting for some input. What do you think? Should we do the success habits uh, starting tomorrow? I could come tomorrow around these, these similar times, a little bit earlier maybe, but every day, just one. We don't stay too long like this. We make it short. And the intention is for all of us to start doing these habits. Every successful person has habits, like what they do every day. What do they do every day consistently to be able to get to what they want? I don't know your vision. Her vision was to fill stadiums and dress better. She achieved it. What's yours? I don't know. We'll get to that. When we get to visualizing and uh, writing goals down, okay? I think I'm going to close this one. Let me go do a short TikTok live. I'm going on TikTok. Anyone who has something to say, please say it. Okay. Share this, this video. Share this live. Oh, Lucky Cookie was here. You know, I had something. Oh, Lucky Cookie, I didn't know. Did you know, Janet, that Lucky Cookie's Lucky Cookie's birthday today? Okay, today. We are still in today for you. It's about, uh, what time is that? Eight. For Lukia, it's what? Eight? Eight forty-five, right? P.M. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday, Janet. It's Lukia's birthday today. Na longo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was good. There's a lot to learn from Tina Turner. Lucky Cookie, did you hear this story? What did you learn from it? Or if you if you had it, let me give you a chance to add what you learned. Or oh. <laughs> baby girl. Okay, Lukia. What did you take away, Lukia Cookie? What did you take away from Tina Turner's story? Assuming you had me, I don't know how long you've been around. So who wants to join me on the success habits? Who wants to start a YouTube channel? Add in the comments. If you watch this later, I see all comments except comments that TikTok, uh, YouTube removes. If you, you have a bad comment, they'll remove it. But there is a bit, I can still see it, but they won't show it on. But put a comment, even if you see this much, much later, come and share your story. Your story could impact other people. Like Tina Turner's story affected us. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you missed it. I think the big lesson uh, divorcing a man and saying all you want is the name is go with your name. Because Tana was her name, or that was the man's name. In fact, he, he had given her the, the whole name, the Tina Turner name. Okay. And also starting over, do what you have to do. Focus, focus, focus. Okay. Do you want to have some more conversation? They're chatting over, over there. For those of you who are coming, I was putting where I'm going live. I'm going to go to, to this live on TikTok. I'm putting my TikTok account here. Take a step. Uh, the one I have now, you know, I lost two accounts on TikTok. So I'm on take a step to a better you. I want to brand, now let me start talking like Tina Turner too. I want to brand that name. 
take a step to a better EU so that we take it big, we take it to everywhere, we brand it, we wear it on clothing, like t-shirts and cups, take a step to a better you. Things will not happen unless you take some action. That's why I keep saying, take a step to a better you. If you don't take a step, nothing will happen. You may hear Natana's story and say, oh, she was strong, oh, she was good. But if you don't take a step in your own life, your world will stay the same. And guess what? Time is running out. There's no time. Every time, every moment is going, 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 going. Like if you look around, the time is gone. We are already almost in June. Can you imagine? June 2023. I'm recording this for those of you who watch it later. Today is still my time is May 26th, 2023. I invite you to come start your channels. Share whatever is in your heart. The young boy, I saw the boy also on, on, on opera. He was saying, Mati, he was saying, every person has a song like a, a song he was doing, he writing these poems. You have your story inside. Only you don't tell it. You don't think people care. Yes, they care. You'll find someone who cares, believe me. You come and share it. You're going to find someone who's going to care about story, about your story, about what you have to say, okay? Thank you all so much. Rookie, Cookie, you didn't add anything more. Um, in a few minutes, I'm going to be live on, I think, what do you think? Should I do a short live on on Instagram first. Janet, do you have some time to support the one on Instagram for like a few minutes, then I go to TikTok? But you know, I get tired of talking. That's a problem. I get tired. Like when I talk, 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 then tomorrow I may not be able to talk. If you have some solution for that, let me know. Oh, look here. Looky cookie, they're sending Robert Magala is sending you happy birthday. Do you see that? That's for Rookie Cookie. Thank you so much from all over the way from Uganda. Now I have to cut this one off. Who wants? Master, it's ready to sleep. I didn't know you're still here. Drink water. Water is going to help. Okay, I'll drink some water. So who wants to go to Instagram with me? Still, I'm going to be talking about Tina Turner. Okay, Instagram or TikTok? Vote. But we go continue. Uh, we we'll take a bit like 10 minutes break and then go to Instagram or TikTok. What's your vote? But when I go to Instagram, uh, I haven't done a live on you know, I have three Instagrams. I started business, you know, this time, you know, I'm learning from Tina Tana. Uh, now, for me, I've spent three years inviting regular people, I call regular people, like anyone to come learn how to start a business online. I realize not everyone wants to start a business. Most people are comfortable where they are. So now I want to talk to business people, business-minded people. So I created a new TikTok for business and a new Instagram for business, only business. So business-minded people, if you're a business-minded person or you want to start a business, that's the language I'm speaking because we got it from the gurus. Unless you move yourself from this side, there's no financial freedom. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how hard you work. There are three, there are four quadrants. Employees, self-employed people, they are on the left. Business owners, investors, they are on the right. Until you move yourself from the left to the right, forget financial freedom. You know, you could be comfortable. You could be pay, pay your bills. But the person called, like the Tina Turner story we are talking about, you are not going to get there unless you move to this side. Business owner, investor. And he advised that before you become an investor, you want to learn business, how business works. Because when we invest our money, we are investing it in businesses. You may not think like that, but that's the truth. So learn about business, learn about income statements, balance sheets, stuff like that profits, cash flow, all that stuff before you become an investor. So all those things are not going to happen here as an employee, as a self-employed person. Nope. So I switched. Business. If you want to be here, we're going to start off here as self-employed, but with the goal of going here. So if you're one of those people, find me. I'm Sherifa Nakalema. Find me. Facebook, find me. Instagram, find me. TikTok. 
and send me a message and say, yes, I think I want to do what, Rich, that, what Robert Shiosaki says. I want to start a business too. We're going to start small. We're going to show you this day affiliate marketing is easy. That's how we start. And I want to build a community of people who think like that. I'm looking for them. There are very few. If you're one of them, are you one of them? Those of you in the chat right here, who, Massa, you want to be, you want to, to escape the rat race? The rat race is on you. Once you are an employee here, when the rat race, you know what a rat race means? You wait for the check, you pay the bills, you go and get another check, you pay the bills, you like that. It goes like this. Uh, it doesn't stop. So he had a cash flow game. I don't have it here. He shows you how to get off. Like a rat race goes like this, keep the circles, but you get off. The way you get off, he calls this a fast track here. Business owner, investor. That's how you get off the rat race. Otherwise, you're going to die on the rat race. And that rat race doesn't end. I mean, doesn't not enough. You make, you pay the bills, it's not enough. You go borrow some. Or you, before you pay that one off, you're borrowing again. The check comes, it's not enough. It's sad, actually. It's sad. We have to learn how to change it. The other day, I was listening to someone. In fact, he's called Grant Cardone. If you know Grant Cardone, he's a 10x guy. He calls himself 10x. You know, I said talking, I was supposed to be closing this. Let me tell you about the 10x. Grant Cardone says, if you want to be successful, if you want to be get into, I mean, financial freedom, you have to 10x, meaning 10x. Let me put it here. 10x everything you're doing. 10x. What he means 10x? 10 times. Whatever you're doing, do it 10 times. He was talking about how the big banks are making the small banks fail. The small banks are failing because of the big banks. He was talking about the kind of transactions those people are doing. Huge. So when we are talking about people on this side, on the, in this business side, ha! The way they think, the way they do things, I'm seeing them online here, even the people in our space. Those are the people who go and do masterminds. Can you imagine someone paying 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 just to attend a meeting? They're called masterminds because you go there and then, then they, all those big minds, they focus on you, they give you the ideas and all that. They're in another world. We're not there. I'm telling you, we are left over here. We are like this little banks. He was talking about the little banks. He said they're going to fail, all of them, because the big banks, the kind of deal they're doing, Anyway, so 10x, yes, no, you cannot 10x doing 9.5, you can't. So how are you going to do? You're going to work 10 jobs? That's why the message comes where he says other people's time and other people's money. The way rich people become rich, they are using your time. Other people's time, employees, other people's money, they borrow, they get, not necessarily borrowing, you can talk to friends, you come all together and create a project. You do not know those rich people. They know each other. So when you come up with an idea, you know rich people, is a, being rich is about solving problems. Sorry that I'm, I'm, I'm getting to this. Uh, I thought I was closing it. Become entrepreneurs solve problems. So when they see there's a problem that needs to be solved, they don't have to have, use their own money. They go and tell the other rich people. They say, you know what? I think if I do this and this and that, we're going to make money like this. How much do you have? Okay. 100,000, 3,000. They put together the money. They have deals. Why do you think someone comes and says, I own 10 businesses, 20 businesses? How do they do that? Like that. So we need to start to learn and support each other. We are not going to do this alone. That's why I want you to come, start YouTube channels, come be around. We have our own community. We learn from others and apply. Who wants to do that? Who wants to come on 10x? <laughs> 10x. You know how 10x works, Mr. Massa? Like if you have been doing a, one post in, in TikTok a day, what their 10x thing means, you're going to maybe, you're going to make a, okay, it's, it works better in YouTube because you can come in YouTube and record one long video the way I'm doing it right now. This is a long video. Now, 10x means I go cut it up. 
and sent a, a clip in the Instagram, a clip with me, a clip there, a clip there, a clip there. By the time it ends, it becomes 10 videos because you cut out clips and send them in the internet. That's 10x, okay? In fact, when they talk about posting, the 10 is not enough. Posting in social media, 10 is not enough. They have to be many, many, many more, okay? I'm about to get off. Anyone who has to say something, say it. Who wants to join me on, what do you think? Instagram or Facebook or TikTok? Or you're tired? Janet, you want to join me on TikTok or Instagram or somewhere or zero? But I'm going anyway. I'm going to go there. I record them. They stay on Instagram. If I go live, it will stay on there. And I like this because it's going to stay on here. Okay, it was about Tina Kana. May her rest in peace. I don't know about that. God knows what happens. But we people, we see her as a good person. And we see her as had something to offer. Something She hired so many people. She paid so many people. And she affected so many people. People's careers, okay? Maybe God will depend on that and forgive her. We don't know. We don't know about that. You know, she had, she was a Buddhist, right? I don't know what they believe about what happens when a person dies, but we must believe different. <laughs> Janet, the rat race, whoo, oh, it can kill you. Circles and circles and more circles. <laughs> the rat race, you keep circling, never ends. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for watching it. Those of you who watch later, please, if you watch to this end, that means you, you really watched it. Like, uh, put a comment for me, please. All of you, please, don't leave until you put a comment for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I kept you awake until midnight. Miss Massa, we're always here. Just know that I'm starting to come live, but I think I may do it on, remember how I tried the desktop? Did you see it? The desktop is different. Right now, I'm not in a desktop. Right now, I'm on two things. I'm over there. There's the camera over there, and I'm singing here on, on, on laptop. So if I do it simple and I do just a laptop, it's easier because I just go live and I start talking. We may do that. God willing, I want to do that starting tomorrow with the success habits. We're going to start with the success habit. I want us to master this thing. To be number one. What's called a happy place? Happy place. Let me give you a preview for tomorrow. It's called a happy place. I want all, all of us to know what our happy place is. The happy place is the, is the one where you're going to start when you want to attract good things. So we're going to do the happy place. Yes, success habits, yes. Uh, happy place plus, I think, uh, uh, what? Being grateful. We're going to combine those because they are so important. Tomorrow, let's start with those. Knowing your happy place. After we know the happy place, we put in being grateful. Let's start with that tomorrow. And hopefully, we can do every single day until the weekend. And I invite all of you to start your YouTube channel and start getting, getting live. I think you can go live after a 1,000 followers. Uh, Miss Massa, can we go one time live on TikTok together? Plan to go live with me over this weekend. Send me a message. Let's see how we can go live together on TikTok. I want to start going live with other people. And we'll see. We could even discuss happy habits or whatever. Whatever you choose. Or mostly business, though. We want to get out of the rat race, right? I can come to teach your audience about these books. Okay? The lessons. Thank you so much. Uh, tomorrow, around that time, around the, the reason I do that, to, I'm waiting for other countries. That's why I do the 10.30, around 10.30 p.m. Around that time, uh, inshallah. Okay, bye-bye. Add comments for me, please. Don't just leave. Add comments on this video before you leave. You know, when I, I start, it's, it becomes a video, but it's, sad, it's naked. There's no comments. Add some comments on it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Tina Tana, rest well. Uh, we learned a lot from you, and your message will go on and on because we are carrying it forward. We are using your lessons to teach others. Okay, she can't hear me, but people who know her, I mean, you appreciate that you, your life was worth it. Thank you for not giving up. 
because another one will have gone and like the cleaning after leaving her husband to have, have cleaned to answer to death. But she came out strong. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.